Helen was born on the 17th of June 1990 at around 11 o'clock, which just happened to be Father's Day. And consequentially, Elaine presented Helen to me as my Father's Day gift. I have to say that without a shadow of a doubt, she's proved to be the most expensive gift I've ever <laughs> received. But, but, Helen was indeed a gift from heaven. I promise them both that I will not embarrass Helen today and mention old boyfriends, and I intend to honour that promise. However, I would just say that Helen has always had a penchant for boys with royal Christian names. And as such, James, God bless him, has become affectionately known in our house as James II. Now, now those of you that know their history will know that James II was a bad king. He was a philanderer and he left England in disgrace, in disguise, dressed as a woman. <laughs> now, both Helen and I are very grateful that Sally didn't christen him Henry. Seven predecessors and five future wives would be more than we could all cope with. I say to Helen that if you make James as happy as your mum has made me for 38 years, He'll be a very lucky man indeed. And I say to James, I've now handed you my precious Father's Day gift. Both Elaine and I are delighted that you have chosen our daughter to be your bride. Any nonsense and you'll find yourself leaving England dressed as a woman. <laughs> and as tradition dictates, I take this opportunity to welcome James to our family although in truth he's been a member since the day Helen first brought him home. I'm sure you will both have many happy and exciting times together. Good luck to you both. In the presence of God and before this congregation, James and Helen have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Um, that brings me on nicely to you, Nick, my new father-in-law. That was a really moving speech. I think you finally, you've cracked Helen. She's crying. Well done. <laughs> Well done. I know she means the world to you, and I, I hope you can see that she means the world to me as well. And I'll, I'll do my best to look after her. Elaine, I've got to mention you as well. Uh, you've put a lot of effort into helping us plan this wedding. I don't think we'd be sat here if, if it wasn't for you driving us through, so thank you. Uh, you both really have been so generous to Helen and I over the years, and I really, I'm eternally grateful to you both. I, I can't thank you enough for what you've done. I couldn't write this speech without mentioning my own mum. Um, you've, you've brought me up well and you've, you've always let me make my own decisions and, and find my own way and I just wanted to say thank you and, and I love you. Uh, and I've saved the best until last, Helen. That's you, my new wife. Um, if anyone doesn't know our sort of how we met story, uh, we started chatting online on uh, Tinder uh, and we met up in a pub in Bournemouth. Uh, Chia would know. He was, he was there. <laughs> he was my escape plan. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, you mean the world to me and, and I can't wait to grow old with you and, and see what the next chapter in our life brings and I, I really do love you so much.